Uh, today we are off on our next adventure. We are going to Culebra Island. It's right off the coast of Puerto Rico. We're heading to rent a golf cart for the next couple of days that we're going to be here. Uh, we asked the guy at the airport and he basically told us you can rent it from Jerry or Carlos. I was lucky enough to find the last little Airbnb here at Culebra Beach Villas. Um, we're going to be staying here for two nights. Um, pretty exciting. I'll put the link of the Airbnb down below. I'd highly recommend it because it's right on the beach so you kind of get it to yourself, especially in the morning when there's no tourists or locals around. So entrance to Flamenco Beach is $2 per person and $5 for parking. Now we are at Flamenco Beach. We're so excited. The hype is real. It's it's absolutely beautiful. We honestly walked into like a magazine. This beach is stunning. The sand is so soft and smooth and white against this beautiful turquoise blue water. It's super nice. All right. Yeah, it's for, for sure. He's hard to please, so that's saying a lot. So we're here on a Tuesday. There's not many tourists. I think mostly locals are here. Even though it is one of the top beaches, you can still kind of feel that you have it to yourself because not many people know about it. All right, swimsuits on, ready to go into that water. Flamingo Beach has been rated amongst the top beaches in the world by TripAdvisor. This is like a swimming pool with a little bit of waves. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. After enjoying Flamenco Beach, we decided to check out the island's famous snorkeling spot. We are off now to Tamarindo Bay Beach. So this beach is pretty famous for snorkeling, so you already know what we're about to do. If you've ever dreamt of swimming with sea turtles, then we highly recommend this place. I just saw a sea turtle. I'm so excited. My life is made. We just got back from snorkeling. I think we saw like Six, seven, eight turtles. Oh, it was awesome. You are guaranteed to see something. Definitely. So after a good amount of snorkeling, now we're headed into town and we're going to this restaurant called Dinky Dock Restaurant. Quick tip is that Culebra only has one ATM on the island and it's near the ferry. We're here at Dinky Dock. It was super, super recommended to us. But it's right next to the ocean and we can see it right now. It, it, it looks pretty awesome. had an awesome day in Culebra. I really wouldn't be putting into the best words. It's just been a beautiful day. The beauty about this place is that not a lot of people know about it, so there's not that many tourists. So right now there's us and maybe like an extra 20, 20 people for yeah. the entire beach. And with that concludes our day. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning. So we woke up early today, right before sunrise just so we can have the entire beach to ourselves. Except for a old married couple that's ahead of us. The entire Flamenco Beach is all to ourselves. One of the most characteristic things about Flamenco Beach is that they have these old US tanks on the coast. We checked it out a little bit, got some drone footage, some pictures, so it's a cool spot to check out. And you can even get on top of the tank, which is what we did and you can see that right now. So right next to Flamenco Beach, there are two little kiosks that sell some empanadas, some snacks, and most importantly, some piña coladas. And kiosk number six. They're very good, refreshing, especially with, with the sun on our faces, mm -hmm. so. Here. Oh, and they're pretty generous with the rum. Be easy. So we had a pretty awesome day today, just chilling by Flamenco Beach. And now we have to head into town to get something to eat. You might have to look around for the places that are open. Yeah. Because we just stopped by three restaurants that we thought were open. We called them. Weren't answering. <laughs> no, no answer. So, so be mindful of that. We finally made it to Mamacitas. It's open. It's probably one of the only three restaurants that are open right now. So. Good morning. 
this is our final morning here in Culebra at Flamenco Beach. So we woke up early again and we wanted to enjoy it as many hours as we could today. Okay, so we're walking along the beach now and we were trying to figure out what qualifies a beach as being voted a top beach in the world. And I think Flamenco Beach has a few characteristics that most beaches don't have. So for example, it has white sand, white smooth sand, so it's easy to walk on without any shoes. The tide isn't too bad, there's not like huge crashing waves, so it's easy to swim in. One of the key features here is that there's no trash at all. They try yeah. their best to keep it nice and clean. It's secluded, so there's also not a lot of people here, and you don't see any resorts whatsoever. So, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you won't see the masses that you see in somewhere like Cancun or, or Tulum or anything yeah. like that. If you're enjoying this video, um, please give us a like down below and subscribe if you want to. Um, we go to some pretty awesome off the beat places. So if you want to keep watching um, and find some more tips for yourself for your next trip or next vacation, hit the like button below and subscribe, please. Thanks. Unfortunately, our time here has come to an end. So now we're getting on the little plane. We'll be in San Juan in maybe 25 minutes or so. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching till the end. Let us know in the comments where we should go next. See you all soon.